poor Bilbo spluttered and choked and coughed and wheezed, but in spite of the icy coldness of the stream and the swiftness of the current, he managed somehow to keep his grip on the rolling barrel. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I do hope those lids are on tight enough. The barrels with their dwarvish contents passed swiftly under the Elm's Palace and out on towards Forest River. After the longest half hour in Bilbo's life, the barrels floated gently into the bank at a bend in the stream. There they are. And about time, too. I thought we'd have to wait here all night. Let's get them on board, then. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Here. Oh, yeah. oh, this is a big load. Is it all as heavy as this? They'll sink the boat. I better try, try and climb on board while they're loading up. Oh, I hope those lids have stuck on all right. Perhaps the dwarves are all drowned or, or battered to death. Lighter and warmer as they floated along. After a while, the shore sank to river level. The trees ended, and then Bilbo saw a sight. A lonely mountain. Far away, its dark head in a torn cloud, loomed the peak that Bilbo had been half hoping, half dreading to see since the adventure started all that time ago. The home of the dragon Smaug and the dwarves' long-lost treasure. The sun had set by the time they reached the lake town of Esgaroth, the town that had been built after the destruction of Dale by the dread Smaug. The boat gently eased into a little bay between the town and the shore, for Esgaroth was built entirely over the waters of the lake. There, the boatmen moored the boat and left wearily for their homes and their beds. And Bilbo set about releasing the dwarves. You stupid hobbit! I am sure I am black and blue all over. Where is our Now look! Now look! Now just now, will you listen? Dwarves, listen. Are you still in prison or are you free? Hmm? Well, I mean, all this moaning and groaning and. and, and Where's your gratitude? I mean, yes, do you think I enjoyed the trip down the river? Shame on you, shame on you. I'm, 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 I'm only a hobbit, and, you, and you're dwarves. Yes, great big. You ought to know. You're supposed to be brave warriors. Warriors? I see. Now, now listen. Have... Now, just, now, you stop all these foolish complaints and let us consider what is next to be done. Eh? Oh, well, well, Mr. Baggins, what do you think is our next move? Oh, uh, well, I, I suggest that we go... Go into Eskaroth. Huh? What, at this time of night? Certainly. Perhaps the, the lake main will give us food and shelter. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I agree. Uh, let us make ourselves known. I am grandson of the last king under the mountain. Eskaroth yes, and all know. these lands are part of my domain. I shall enter in upon my inheritance. Uh, that'll be nice. Uh, come, to the gates of Lake Town. Yes. All right. Come along, all of you.